What is up, my score lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Forza Horizon 3. In the last episode, we got ourselves this car right here, the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport. And we're going to be using it pretty much to finish off the last of the major events here in Horizon. So, or at least in Hot Wheels, excuse me. So we have this drift zone that I still haven't gotten two medals on. I'm going to try to go for that. We got another S2 race here. We've got a... Oh gosh. Oh yeah, there's an S1 race there as well. A half pipe climb. And I actually think that is it. So two events to get through and a speed zone. And we it looks like we might actually have time to get the final event in as well should we actually get this done of course this particular uh drift zone has been the bane of my existence since the whole dlc started so actually getting it i don't know how this is going to actually work out but we will try as i go for fifty thousand here get out of my way hey we got it okay don't no no don't turn around don't turn around don't turn around we have it, we just need to hold the points, and then I'm uh, pretty much set. It was a little ugly, but it works. And uh, we got the two uh, medals. We were actually only just a little bit shy of uh, three. And you know what? Since they're right here, I'm gonna try to, oh, you come back here. No, we're gonna we're gonna do this head to head really quickly. Might as well get it out of the way. Come here, Ken Sector, stupid name. Come here. Not that, why is it highlighting the exact wrong one? Obviously, that's not the one I want to actually head-to-head -head with. I want to head-to-head -head the credits bonus guy. Because I would like to actually buy myself one more interesting car. So let's try to do this first. There, oh, 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 get, come on, give it to me. Let me freaking challenge this guy. No, this other Drivatar is completely in the way. Okay, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. He's going the other way. He's going the other way. This is my opportunity. Can I, please? No. Playground, I I swear right now, you guys are like, you're doing this on purpose. You are, you have to be doing this on purpose. Are you kidding me? I was like waiting. Okay, there he is. Oh my gosh, it's so obnoxious. It's so obnoxious. And of course, you are, ah, right there. Come here, you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? We are going to start this thing, whether you like it or freaking not. I'm going to do this head to head. One way or another. Come on. Let me start the thing. Thank you. By goodness. Okay, let's do this race. Holy cow. Here we go. Time to freaking win this thing and get some a nice credit bonus. I actually got 100,000 credits from the wheel spin at the end of the last race. So we are well over the threshold where I can afford to get myself that 4 GT, which I would actually very much like to. Um, just because... I mean, first of all, it is a very cool car, but also it would be nice to actually have it for one of the last things that I want to do in uh, the Australian area. So let's grab all that. We got that. We are actually one head-to-head -head race away from being able to get more street races, even though I haven't really been doing those. And I also just realized I still did not undo... Where is it? I still did not take... I still did not take rewind off of my difficulty settings, and I just fixed that, so we should be good to go now. Okay, actually, let's check our perks really quick. 24. Okay, still not enough. And have I claimed every single instant reward? I think I have. Probably should also check that. Let's see. But, well, yeah, that's right. I didn't, I didn't uh, claim the instant wheel spins because they're not VIP bonus wheel spins, so they're kind of a waste of cre uh, credits in my opinion. So, or skill points, so I'm not even going to bother with those at all. Totally not worth my time. Okay, let's go back this way. And actually, while I do it, might as well try this drift zone out one more time. Because I can actually get a lot of points here if I do it right. Okay, I wasn't able to get the 60,000. I wanted it, but I was still not able to get it. I'm sure there's like a better car for me to do that with. And let's uh, begin this freaking event. Okay, seven great speed skills and win the race. That shouldn't be too bad. Let's stick with the Veyron for this. 
Horizon presents High Speed Highway, the last S2 event, and then we just have an S1 event to do, which I'm probably going to do with my trusty Ferrari 488. Here we go. Great speed skills should not be a problem in this thing. Obviously, it's going to depend entirely on what the straightaways are going to look like, but here we go. Good thing I don't have to get any, like, skill bonus anythings. Okay. Wow. Dude, this Don Chewy guy, I swear, he is, like, the most aggressive drive -atar I've ever seen. He plays so unbelievably dirty. Here we go. All right. 200 miles an hour should be more than enough for high-speed things, right? I would assume. Come on, come on, come on. Maintain it. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Keep those speed bonuses. Beautiful. Holy crap, we're flying. Okay, okay, okay. We got three of them. Now we need to slow down a little bit. Jeez. This is wild. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to do this without braking. There we go. We got an awesome speed. And then I'm going to crash into the wall again. Okay, easy now. Let's slow it down a little bit. Oh, this Varon, man. It is. it is. It's clunky. It really is clunky. It's very hard to use it effectively sometimes. If you can get a lot out of its speed, I mean, I mean, you can get a lot out of its speed if you use it properly, which I evidently do not because I am not extremely used to this thing's power. Okay, okay. I should have known that I needed to break there, and I didn't think about it. That was dumb. Maybe I don't think I need to break here, though. Well, we need to get more speed thingies. Yeah, I didn't need to break there. I'm good. Got it. Okay, we're good. Challenge progress completed. Let's finish this race. How are you catching up suddenly? Oh no! No 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 no! I've got this. Get away from me! Get back! All right, we're almost done. Ten percent of the race left. Let's freaking finish this thing, please. Just one more or two more checkpoints. Go through that S-Bend nice and evenly. Oh, there's the finish line. We got it. Yep, we got a good lead. Boom. Okay, last S2 has been completed. Although this probably put me really far away from where I want to be. So I'm going to have to probably loop back all the way over to that S1 race. We got a wheel spin out of this. Hopefully we can get another good bonus here. This one doesn't seem to have a lot of potential. And I'm just going to get a Fiat. Okay, well, whatever. We're going to have to look through our garage at the end of this series as well and check out all the cars that we've unlocked throughout the course of this game because it's been a long one. It really has. Okay, it oh, put me right next to the Goliath event. Well, I'm going to meet you guys back on over here for the S1 half pipe climb. Probably should have done that first given that's a circuit race because it would have just put me right back at the starting line once all was said and done. But alas, I did not make that mis I did not make that choice. It was a mistake, and now I have to cut on over there. So see you in a second. All right, let's do this thing. Now I believe the lap time on this one is only a minute 15, so pretty short laps this time around. Uh, it, this is to get the third medal, I mean. So I'm not really too concerned about this one. It's a pretty quick race overall. Yeah, 115 and a three laps. So this will be a shorter race for sure. I think we can do this. We're going to be using our Ferrari 488, the trusty. S1 uh, King because this is what pretty much got us through all of that S1 stuff so here we go all right let me get past everybody please and I'm gonna take it easy going into this turn here but I think I should have the lead now I should be able to maintain that as well yeah pretty quick race here we just gotta obviously be careful going on like jumps and stuff like that oh gosh should I go the right way oh yeah it doesn't matter here it really doesn't matter there we go, there we go. It's so funny that the map shows this as a straightaway when it's clearly divergent. It makes the, everyone look like they're careening off the cliff. I'm going to be able to actually get that 115, though. That is the question. I don't know how hard this is going to be. But really, the only bad turn is this one right here. There we go. Still managed to bump. Oops. Okay, come on, come on. we got 15 seconds to finish this lap. I think this is possible. Possibly. Seven sec. Yeah, we got this for sure. Easy. With four seconds to spare. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, we're just cruising along now. 
And then this is the part where I take a huge advantage because for some reason, whenever they go into this half pipe, they actually slow down quite a bit. So that'll allow me to really fly ahead. And I am gonna use the brakes in this part. There's absolutely no point to. Just got to up here. I was actually really tempted to use the Twin Mill or possibly even the Hot Wheels Mustang that I actually didn't end up using because I unlocked that later and I forgot that I unlocked that later um, and just, yeah, just completely neglected it for a super long time. So, oops, maybe we'll be able to use that in the Goliath event. I don't know because I was thinking about that. I said, you know, oh, we'll use the Veron in the Goliath event. No, they're probably going to do the same thing they would, did with Blizzard Mountain and they're going to give me a vehicle I have to use for that event. So, oops. I mean, of course, it'll be one that we'll get to keep, but... It's probably going to be something new that we haven't actually used before. Obviously, because, you know, they want us to be able to keep it. It's a reward. It would be dumb if we were already able to have it. You know what I mean? Okay. Aside from some sloppiness at the end there, that was actually a better lap than the last one. So I won't complain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got it. We got a really good lead on this. Really good lead. I mean, not as decisive as the leads we were getting with the Veron, but... I feel like S1 was just by far the hardest part of this entire DLC, if I can be so frank. S2 was just not nearly as bad in comparison. Which, I mean, I guess that's okay, but... It's just kind of weird to me that it didn't, you know, get definitively harder the higher up the ranks you went. It kind of just peaked and then it fell off a cliff again. I guess because with S2s you can just open them up so much more. That there's And there's a greater variance in the S2 class than there is in the S1 class. I guess there technically is a great variance in the S1 class. It's just that the AIs in Hot Wheels specifically pick really quick cars in S1. But not so much in S2? I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. But I think that was our best lap yet. And also, that is the final event here in Hot Wheels, aside from, obviously, the Goliath. Which I think we're going to have time for. So why don't we go head back on over to the festival site and do that after we see the results of this wheel spin here. And I get something pretty decent here, possibly, potentially, maybe. Ah, 80,000 credits. I can't complain about that too much. At least we're not getting those really freaking low 2,000 credit ones again. So 11 medals of being are shy of being perfect out here in Hot Wheels. I think we actually ended up doing a lot better than we did in... Uh, Blizzard Mountain. So I'm going to head on over there and I'll see you in just a second. So I hate to be a tease about this, but I've been looking at the time and I was looking at the event that we're about to do and I realized we should probably save it for the next episode. I think it just makes the most sense. Guys, what I'm going to do is I am going to end this episode off by grabbing the Ford GT right here. The 2017 Ford GT. And this is what we are going to use in the next race. We're going to pick a design for it. We're going to get it uh oh what what the hell you, that's weird a utah jazz okay very strange anyway yeah we're gonna pick something here that's gonna Ooh, i actually kind of like that scheme a little bit uh ooh, but the black and silver too man you know what i think we'll go for that original red one yeah well that's really similar to the la ferrari though isn't it yeah maybe we shouldn't let's go with uh let's go with the silver design yeah let's do that well, we're going to pick that one, buy this thing for 400,000 credits. I'm going to sink uh, the rest of my credits basically into upgrading this thing, and we will be using it in the Goliath event in the next episode, which is probably going to be mostly its own thing for the next episode. I have one other idea, because uh, after that is going to be the finale, which is kind of exciting. But yeah, let's, let's sink some uh, uh, money into upgrading this thing, because I'm sure it's got some room to grow. Going to the garage, upgrades, no body kits, okay. Uh, I'm just going to go into the auto upgrade and see what we can do with this thing. Let's see how high we can get it. 975. I think that's doable. And then we'll actually take a look at its stats in the garage menu and the My Cars menu really quickly before we go any further. But let's see. And you know what? Not bad. Not bad. I think that is workable. Guys, Thank you all so very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Forza Horizon 3. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.